Hi, everybody. David Brian Miller here again. I thought I'd share this all with you. You know, I went to my Google Plus page, and I ran into this post, Should Libertarians Take Money from the State with Walter Block? Mr. Libertarian tackles a controversial and complicated question for libertarians. Should they accept government money? Do anti-state convictions mean it's wrong to accept state money? This complex moral conundrum gets answered by economist Walter Block Sunday tonight at 6 p.m. EDT. Now, unfortunately, I, I, I missed the presentation. I may go back and, and see the presentation, but I couldn't help but respond. You know, I voted Libertarian in 1980 when I was 18 years old. The first time I got to vote in an election, I voted for Ed Clark. For president of the United States, I voted Libertarian going way back. I voted for Libertarian candidates in numerous other elections. I adhere to Libertarian principles, but let, let, let me go into my responses. The policies of the state contributed to my severe emotional disabilities. I am a targeted individual and a victim of local variants of the MK Ultra and COINTEL programs. And I not only feel comfortable receiving Social Security disability insurance benefits, which I earn by working, but I also believe that the government should award me millions of dollars in additional compensation for what I have endured and should end all secrecy and become totally transparent, thus revealing the atrocities that government and its allies have been committing against individuals such as myself. And I'm certainly not alone, folks. Also, libertarianism needs to be tempered by humanism. I once proposed the formation of a libertarian socialistic democratic party or LSD party to help achieve that. Now, I will go back and, try and see what Walter Block said about all this and, and try to follow up, but I, I just wanted to share this with everybody. Also, I was persecuted by local police and Illinois State Police. I was persecuted where they called my house several years ago and persecuted about me about this because I'm a Social Security Disability Insurance recipient. I worked for that, and I earned that. And these police officers in the local area called me and persecuted me about it, committed telephone harassment against me regarding that several years ago. So I just wanted to share this post with everybody. We'll follow up with this later. We'll, 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 we'll follow up with this topic later on. Thanks for listening. Bye.